Hey, welcome to Guitar Education. So today we're going to talk about uh, finger exercises. Okay, so there's tons and tons of them out there. And, um, you know, I guess they all kind of do the same thing. But one exercise I really like to do because it seems to just really nail in on the finger dexterity pretty quickly is uh, there's one where you take, like, uh, there's, there's about three different patterns commonly used on the guitar that, you know, from most of the basic major minor scales, you have like three patterns that you would play on at one string, and I just kind of go over those patterns here where I'm playing like uh, F sharp, G, A, and then I play B, C, D. Then I do that a few times. So it's kind of like uh, some kind of, I mean, this is all in E minor so far. That would be the scale that's being played right now. Although it would be starting as a mode. But. And then we move over to G, A, B, and then C, D, D. So then we add them together. Okay, do that a few times. And we go over to A, B, C, and D, E, F. So now we're kind of moving a little outside of that scale but we're still keeping with this pattern. Alright, so then we, do, we all do all three together. And normally I would play like... Now we go, now we're moving up again to B here, and we're going to play the original pattern that we we're playing up here, and we're going to play B, C, D, and then E, F, G. So the patterns start to repeat there. So we're kind of doing the same pattern again here that we did up here, and then again, we do that. Then we move up to C, and now we're going to play the same as we played on the G here. So we're going to play C, D, E, and then we're going to play F, G, A. Alright, so the whole thing, as far as we have, it goes like this. Okay. Now we're going to move up one more. We're going to go to D, E, F, and G, A, B flat. So now we're going to do that whole thing. can, I'm kind of running out of space here because I don't have a cutaway, but uh, let's see, I'm blocked off right here, but you can move up to E here, do E, F, G, and then do A, B flat, C, if you want, it's kind of repeating the same one again here, and that's here, the F sharp and the B. But then, so let's say we don't go all the way up today, we stay on this D here. Then what we do is we just reverse it. Since everything's been going this way, now we're going to bring it back this way. And we just go right back up. It's 
kind of like an E minor run for most of it. There's a little, just the F that's thrown in there kind of throws it off, and then that B flat there. And then you do it again. Try that out, practice that, see how you're, uh, as you feel it in your forearm here. That's where you'll start to feel when it really starts to get in there, okay? And what I do after, after I've done that for a little while, like maybe 15, 20 minutes of just doing that back and forth, I'll start playing some like open chords to kind of get my... It's just kind of so that your hands aren't locked up after playing something like that. I would go around and just fiddle with some working chords afterwards. Just so that your, your fingers stay a little free. Alright, so there you go. And uh, have fun playing. <laughs>